everyone, welcome to our 2023 Porsche Boxster Spider Demand with a four and a half liter engine. Trying to shoot this midday to avoid some traffic, but we're in Atlanta. Traffic is kind of happening all the time. Really chilly morning. Hoping I got some good temperature in my uh, in the tires. These are mounted with Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. Nice and fresh. One of my favorite tires on the market. So we do have PSE, as you can see right here. I have it on the loud, the loud setting. And let me tell you, it's it's loud. Um, once I'm moving here in a second, I'll put it to the stock setting, which actually sounds very OEM. It's nice and quiet. So we're gonna go ahead and put it into, there we are. But for the sake of the video, we're gonna be loud and obnoxious today. So a little about, about the engine, um, Demand Motorsports up in New York has uh, touched the car. Uh, 560 horsepower, which is a lot in a Spider. Um, so they uh, increased the bore, bore and stroke, uh, it's originally 102 millimeters, that's been bored out to 108. And uh, they have a 991 Carrera crankshaft in there to uh, increase the stroke. Um, got Molle pistons in here, different connecting rods. Fantastic engine, we'll throw the dyno sheets up here in a second. You can see it. everywhere except instead of up at the top like a, a stock spider will um, they kind of originally they wake up at around 4,000 rpm this engine makes power starting at 2,000 and up a lot a lot of mid-range torque on a stock spider you like to live around six six thousand to eight thousand that's kind of the sweet spot this you can kind of drive it like a turbo engine car Four, four thousand, five thousand, plenty of punch out of the corners. Um, the the mid-engine nature is a little bit more apparent with the the demand 
engine in here. It's not, it doesn't drive like a GT3 at all. GT3's dig in the corners, you can come out, you know, pretty much flat out of once you hit the apex. This car kind of skitters and skates around on the pavement. It's really, really fun. It's super playful. And the, uh, this does have the short gear, gear set ratios. So two through five have been modified from demand. The shorter gears, awesome. The car just feels really punchy. Um, you're shifting more often, which I like. Uh, these from the factory have really, really long gears. A lot of auto journalists and owners alike have kind of loathed the, uh, the gear tuning Porsche put in these, but. It's a hot rodded Porsche engine. It's phenomenal. The, uh, they also did upgrade the clutch. It's the first thing you notice. Everyone that's gotten into this car notices the clutch is like, oh wow, what's really heavy? It is very heavy. It's really satisfying to, to operate. It, um, the best way to describe it, I mean, it's very kind of motorsportsy feeling, but it feels like an E39 M5 clutch, but twice the weight. It's very spring-loaded going in and very spring-loaded coming out. So you kind of have to fight it when it comes back out, which is awesome as a driver's car. I like that uh, extra bit of interaction. So yeah, we've got leather dash, sport chrono, Got leather, leather door cards. Nice grippy material here. I like a, a cloth, a cloth seat over a sports or a, uh, a leather seat in a sports car. It's just the kind of, kind of the way it should be, in my opinion. Um, heated seats work really well. I'm actually gonna turn mine off. And I was driving this around in 39 degree temperatures yesterday with the top off. And I was super comfortable in just, you know, a light Patagonia jacket. It's really pleasant place to be. I have to top up today for uh, audio reasons, as you guys can imagine. But uh, these are actually pretty quiet. You can hear as cars pass by, you'll hear some road noise coming out, you know, the buttress areas, but on the road, it's, it sounds about as quiet as my 996 coupe, honestly. Porsche added some good refinement touches. So not a lot of these have been made, obviously. Matt Farah has one. He's put out probably the most content on these cars. And when Matt Farah buys a car for himself, you know it's something special. The guy gets to drive everything. I also get to drive everything here at Gas Motor Cars, and this is probably my favorite modern sports car that I've driven in a while. The car has tons of pace. The turn in's nice. Steering's super accurate. You know, it's all the good stock Porsche tuning to get with this chassis, but you just have a unhinged engine behind you. Shut up so you guys can hear the engine.
good benchmark road. Um, tons of pace. Uh, the car doesn't feel like it's too powerful. The demand hasn't tuned the engine out of class. A lot of a lot of people with hot rod engines do, and that just chassis doesn't feel too happy. This car feels really balanced, um, but it's also it is slightly unhinged, which I really like. You have to really treat it with respect, or the the car will will give you a spank. Um, the uh, See, I've taken quite a few cars in there. The GT3 has been kind of the quickest on that road. Just there's more downforce. The the way the rear engine nature is, you can just kind of dig out of corners. But that car is not far behind it. Uh, looks like we've hit traffic here it's kind of unavoidable here in Atlanta but um, if you have any questions comments please leave them in the uh, the comment section we'll get to you if you need any supplementary videos any supplementary pictures more than happy to to get those to you guys but um, hopefully we'll provide everything in the listing where we don't have to do that but more than happy to um, this is a really nice car it's it is really really special especially stuff that everyone's making nowadays it's just kind of it's kind of